I was recently on the phone with my dad when I told him about the Aura Ring. He asked me, how is that ring called again? Like Uhura from Star Trek Enterprise? No dad, it's not called Uhura, but Oura. <laughs> if you watch this video until the very end, then you'll know how the ring works on a day-to-day -day basis, how it can help you improve your life and if it's worth buying, especially if you already own an Apple Watch or a Fitbit, for example. Hi, my name is Julian. I'm a husband, dad and business owner from Berlin, Germany. On this channel, you'll find proven strategies on how to live a rich and meaningful life. Let me start with my conclusion. I like my Aura Ring 3 a lot, as I'm convinced it is helping me reach my full potential. As an Apple Watch user, I didn't think that the Aura Ring could actually add any value to the health data and recommendations that I was already getting from my Apple Watch, but I was wrong. The first big difference I noticed between my Apple Watch and the Aura Ring is that the activity goal can't be actively set to a different value on my Aura Ring. It is automatically set and adjusted by the Aura Ring every single day. For example, on one day the activity goal might be set to 450 kilocalories, while on the other day it might be set to 600. At first I didn't really understand why this might be, but then I found out why this is. It's because on days where you have a readiness score below 85, the Aura Ring actually encourages you to take it a bit more slowly on that day. And this is in order to help you recover better. On other days, you might wake up to a readiness score of let's say 92. The Aura Ring then knows you're fully rested and is challenging you to take your training to the next level. That's why it will automatically elevate your daily movement goal for that day. I noticed that the data gathered by the Aura Ring is a lot more detailed compared to the Apple Watch or what I can do with my iPhone. It also displays this data in a better and more beautiful way. I didn't expect this because I just couldn't imagine any company could beat Apple when it comes to usability and design. Well, it turns out I was wrong again. In direct comparison to the Aura app, Apple's health app seems almost clumsy and unorderly. On top of that, the Aura Ring measures body temperature as well, something the Apple Watch cannot do yet. That makes it even more valuable. And how does body temperature help, by the way? While the Aura Ring doesn't show your absolute body temperature, it does detect relative changes. For example, it can show you by how much your body temperature is above or below your own average body temperature. On Aura's website, it says, if your body temperature climbs out of this range, it will negatively impact your readiness score, a key indication that your recovery process is suffering. The exciting thing here for me is that with the Aura Ring, I can monitor body temperature trends to spot potential illnesses before they arrive. I haven't worn the Aura Ring long enough to know whether this is really works, but this is something I'm really curious about. If you already own an Apple Watch, Fitbit or any of the like, then I can't really recommend you either get one device or the other. Instead, my conclusion and that of many others is that both devices work very well together at the same time. For a good comparison between the Apple Watch and the Aura Ring, I can recommend this article, which you also find linked to from the description below. Now, without further ado, let's have a look at the top eight things worth knowing about the Aura Ring 3. I ordered my ring on Black Friday with a 50 euro discount. The price for the silver version was 314 euro and with the discount I paid 264. At the end of this video I'll share with you another way how you can get the same discount even if it's not Black Friday. So make sure to stick around to the end of this video. If you buy the ring, I recommend you buy the ring with your credit card and not with PayPal. That's because in my case I do think they added the PayPal service fee on top of the discounted price. Alongside the Aura Ring 3, Aura is introducing a new membership model. You can get the first 6 months for free and then the cost is 5.99 euro per month. Apparently it's possible to use the ring without the membership, but after having watched another YouTube video about the subject, I don't recommend you do this. This is because you will most likely miss out on the data that is among the most valuable. With the membership, the ring actually becomes more expensive than an Apple Watch over the long run. It's worth keeping this in mind when trying to decide whether the ring is a good investment for you. Personally, I don't mind the additional cost, but I could imagine that some people might be put off by this. In my case, after ordering the ring, it took about two weeks for my sizing kit to arrive by mail. It looks like this, by the way, and it has 10 rings in it with different sizes. 
Aura recommends wearing the ring on the forefinger of the non-dominant hand. The forefinger is because um, your pulse can actually be measured the best there. The non-dominant hand is recommended because this way you don't accidentally scratch your ring while touching everyday objects. You could also wear the ring on your middle or ring finger. Those are the next two best options according to Aura. I personally use my forefinger which works just fine. Once you know your ring size number, you simply log into your Aura account, add the ring size number there and this will then trigger the delivery of the ring. In my case, after another week or so, the ring arrived. So my total wait was about three weeks, ordering the ring on Black Friday and from Berlin, Germany. Before ordering, I already knew from Aura's product images and from other people's reviews that the ring itself isn't the most beautiful. This is mainly because of its somewhat bulky nature. Some people have noted that the ring looks a bit like a screw nut from a car. That was my wife's first reaction as well. That's why she doesn't want to get one yet. Even though Aura claims the Aura ring in its version 3 is beautiful, I can't totally agree. However, I don't think it's that bad and even if it was that ugly, I'd still probably wear one. That's because I'm more interested in feeling energized throughout the day than for the ring to look good on me. I could imagine though that with the next iteration of the ring, it will be smaller. That's because technological improvements in those sensors will most likely help to make that possible. Before we jump into the two big metrics measured by Aura called readiness and sleep, let me share with you the two things I like the most about using the Aura ring on a day-to-day -day basis. First, it lets me know in a friendly way when my body might need some rest. Personally, I sometimes train six to seven days a week, which can be a bit too much. If you are into HIIT training, such as offered by Apple Fitness Plus, then an elevated heart rate of let's say 170 or 180 beats per minute can lead to a resting heart rate that is too high the next day. Before using the Aura Ring, I can remember how I would sometimes train even if I didn't feel perfectly rested on that day. I remember that I did this a few months ago and this led me from feeling bad to actually getting sick. Now with the Aura Ring, it recently told me in the morning that my elevated resting heart rate indicated that I might not be fully recovered. And that switching to lighter activities could help me reach my full potential tomorrow. It seems like I need someone telling me when to stop and while I might not always listen to my wife when it comes to this, I do tend to listen to Aura. By the way, my wife has recently watched the new edition of Sex in the City, where the, this character called Big got off a Peloton bike and shortly after he died of a heart attack. Maybe if Big had worn an Aura ring, he would have never trained on that particular day. Or his overall lifestyle, including sleep, would have been much better not getting him into that situation in the first place. Second, I like Aura's nap and rest rate of time detection and how it motivates me to take some time during the day to relax and unwind. The Apple Watch also sends reminders to spend some mindful minutes during the day by breathing or reflecting, but the Apple Watch somehow fails to use this information to show me how well I did in this area. With the Aura Ring, I can be sure it uses this information to calculate my overall readiness score. Now, as promised, let's have a closer look at how the Aura Ring works on a day-to-day -day basis, especially at how those two big metrics, readiness and sleep, are being calculated. Every morning, each of those two metrics gets calculated based on how much you slept, how much you moved your body, and how well you rested during the day. Those two scores can be anything from 0 to 100, where 1 is really bad and 100 is really good. Without explaining everything here, let me just share with you the main contributors for readiness and sleep. Readiness gets calculated by taking the following things into account. Your resting heart rate, HRV balance, body temperature, recovery index, sleep, sleep balance, previous day activity and activity balance. And sleep gets calculated by taking these things into account. Total sleep in hours, efficiency, restfulness, REM sleep, deep sleep, latency and timing. In the Aura app, you can click on each contributor to get a short explanation of what it means. For example, for recovery index it says, recovery index measures how long it takes for your resting heart rate to stabilize during the night. Alcohol, a heavy meal before bed or late exercise speeds up your metabolism and can keep your heart rate elevated throughout the night. This can affect your recovery and leave you feeling unrested the next day. Something that surprised me in a pleasant way was how well Aura detects when I sit down or relax or take a nap. For example, after a nap, 
it has rewarded me by adding some extra points to my overall readiness and sleep score for that day. This doesn't seem to work consistently though, while the aura ring does not always detect when I nap, it almost always categorizes it as rest rate of time. Another thing that is nice is that I can use it to track body changes while I meditate. After each session I can see how my skin temperature or heart rate has changed during my meditation. As mentioned before, I didn't expect the ring to give me better recommendations than the Apple Watch was already doing. However, Aura's way of aggregating different body data to just two main scores, readiness and sleep, seems like a very original and clever idea to me. This is something that the Apple Watch or the Apple Health app simply do not do. The things that the Aura Ring does better compared to the Apple Watch are it measures body temperature which the Apple Watch cannot do yet. It boils a lot of contributors down to just two aggregated scores making it kind of fun to dive into more details about how that overall score was calculated. It does give smart suggestions like for example when is a good day to take a break from exercising and it measures sleep better. Oftentimes my auto sleep app on the Apple Watch would show sleep four times when I just sat on the couch. I then needed to manually correct this, which was a bit of a pain in the butt. In contrast to that, the Aura Ring also detects when I'm relaxing on the couch, but it counts that time as restorative time. That is awesome because I know that this way will elevate my readiness score the next day. Again, this is something that the Apple Watch simply cannot do. Personally, I never had the need to reach out to Aura support and so I will not rate it here. I did however find some videos on YouTube indicating that the support might not be the best. For example, there has been quite some confusion around Aura's pricing policy. Apparently, people were a bit upset when Aura announced it would start a monthly membership for some bonus features that previously weren't bonus features but regular features. YouTuber Katie Type A did an interesting comparison between the cost of an Apple Watch and the cost of an Aura Ring. It shows that with the added membership, the Aura Ring becomes more expensive over time. While Aura might want us to think that their membership is not needed, I'd argue that no one would want to miss out on the added features of that membership. If you are not currently sleeping well or if you feel that you often have low energy during the day, then the Aura Ring might just be able to tell you exactly why that is. For example, the ring calculates an individual and optimal sleeping time based on your readiness and sleeping scores. In my case, my ideal bedtime is from 9 p.m. to 9.45 p.m. That sounds early, but it's based on the actual data collected by the ring. Basically, on days where I go to bed before 10 p.m., my sleep and readiness score are typically the best the very next day. Your ideal bedtime might be different from mine, of course, but isn't it fantastic to be able to make decisions such as when it's best to go to bed based on hard data? Also, wearing the ring and looking at the data collected by it makes it fun to make adjustments to my daily routine. For example, I noticed that simply taking time to walk every day is one of the most effective ways to help me improve my sleep and readiness score. So my conclusion as to how the Aura Ring can help improve our life is that it helps you sleep better and feel more alert during the day. Just imagine how much time each one of us is spending in bed each night. Who wouldn't want to improve this time by making the right lifestyle choices? Towards the end of this video, I'd like to share a few practical things when using the ring. Apparently the battery of the ring can last up to a week of constant use. I've never tried wearing it for one week without charging low. Aura recommends charging the ring for short amounts of time every day. I've set up my ring charger in my bathroom to use it while I'm in the shower. About every other day I lay it there for 15 minutes or so and that is usually enough to get the ring battery up from 60% to 80% or more. The ring also has a flight mode and while in this mode the ring will still collect data but it won't be connected to your phone and so you won't get any alerts or recommendations during this time. I recently visited a sauna and was thinking about putting it into flight mode there. I decided not to do it though when I read that in order to reconnect it to the phone the ring first needs to be put onto the charger. Another thing worth knowing about the ring is that it probably gets scratches easily. With my silver version I'm quite sure the ring will start getting scratches over time. 
In order to prevent heavy scratches, I'd recommend not wearing the ring while weightlifting, for example. What can also help is putting the ring on your non-dominant hand as recommended by Aura. To conclude this video, I can highly recommend you get the Aura Ring 3. It's the most advanced piece of health tech that I know of. If you feel stressed, often have low energy or if you don't sleep well, then this small accessory can really help you a lot. While the Aura Ring can't do the actual work for you, like constantly going to bed at around the same time, regularly walking or frequently resting during the day, it will help remind you in a fun and playful way. I already decided that I will most likely be wearing this ring every day for the coming months and even years. The insights that this will probably give me are invaluable to me. Now, as promised at the beginning of the video, here is another way how you can profit from a 50 euro discount even if it's not Black Friday today. After around two weeks of using the ring, I received an email from Aura offering me a pair of Aura sweatpants if I recommend the Aura ring to two people. And the two persons who I'd recommend the ring to would each get a 50 euro discount. This is called the Aura Tell a Friend promotion that is valid at the time of recording this video. If you watched the video until here, what do you think of the Aura Ring? Will you get one for yourself? Or if you already own one, what has been your experience with it? Please let me know in the comments below.